Good morning, Diva Nation, WRJRians. It's your girl, Miss Diva. And <laughs> for those of you that read my post, yeah, it's been a rough couple of days. <laughs> I keep a lot in because I don't want to upset other people or have people getting or drawing the wrong conclusions from what I'm saying or what I'm dealing with. So, um, I decided I'm just going to just let it out today because if anything happens to me, just know I didn't go anywhere with anybody willingly. Um, but anywho, Hey, Michelle, <laughs> today's question, it was, it was, a conversation I was having with a gentleman about the woman in his life and um, he was saying that she's too busy for him she has all these church activities she's got a job um, she kind of pencils him in when um, basically when she feels like it so she's in essence running the relationship and he asked me what I thought about that and my response was people make time willingly for the things that they want to make time for be it a personal thing whatever hey nephew <laughs> they make time for what they want to make time for and if she's that busy but see the thing is she's telling him you know I'm too busy for you sounds like good morning Ray she's just not ready at the moment for a relationship. <sighs> Saturday. You're here? I'm sorry, I'm all off subject. That's my nephew. I love him so much. Are you here? <laughs> I Either, both. I don't care. I want to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> people make time for what they want to make time for, but if they are... Um, telling you that they're too busy then that's what they are that's just their reality now it's up to you to decide how you want to handle that if you want to wait and let them pencil you in so to speak or if it's not enough for you then you need to let them know that because they're telling you the truth up front you need to be truthful with self and with them and let them know hey this I can't deal with yes I'm here got a main cause to I'm in, Fabian. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. <laughs> I'm such a cornball. And then one of the things that I said to him was, um, this relationship apparently is playing out on her timetable. When it should be between, the, it's it's a commitment. You both have to decide what's best for you. It's, it shouldn't be once... <laughs> I'm trying. It shouldn't be one-sided. One person shouldn't dictate every move that's made. You both need to compromise. But if she's feeling like that's not something that she can do, then you may want to take a step back and see where it goes. That's me. I'm not going to chase anybody for attention or to give me their time. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it willingly. And same with anybody that I'm with. They shouldn't have to chase me down to give me a moment of their time. It should be an automatic thing. So that was my take on it. You know, let her know how you feel. Um, but be truthful to yourself, too. You know, if this is something you can deal with, then, you know, congrats. Have at. If it's to the point where you're asking me what I think about it, Clearly, you're not okay with this, so there needs to be some compromising made or some changes. That's just my opinion. I'm going to go. It's a little warm out here, all that sun on my back. Whew. If I needed a tan, I'd be, you know, that'd be the bomb here right now. Um, I will be back tomorrow, and then I'll be back this weekend for Love Unlimited Live, Friday and Saturday night, 11 p.m. till 2 a.m. out east, 8 till 11 out west, and then back thanks for the love for the old school cool down sunday from five to eight out east two to five out west and again uh thanks for allowing me to be transparent this morning i hope that actually helps somebody 
but if I'm just like gone and nobody's heard from me, know that I didn't, I did not go willingly. So you guys be blessed. Bye-bye.